Mike. I, I know um, when when you want to go on a long playoff run, it's right. Uh, win as many games as you can as fast as you can. So I guess can you speak to uh, closing it out in four and, and now being able to kind of look at you know, I mean, another week off, I guess, uh, before an next opponent. Yeah, first, I'd just like to, you know, a lot of respect to Miami Heat, um, their players, you know, Coach Spolstra. Um, they're very, very, very tough opponent. So much respect for them and what they do organizationally and uh, from a playing perspective, a coaching perspective. Um, just all the respect in the world for those guys. And uh, so to go out on the road and, and, and close out a game, especially, um, you know, they played extremely well in the first half. Uh, they had a lot of guys step up and make plays on both ends of the court, um, you know, had us on our heels a little bit. So um, for the last 24 minutes to settle in, get stops, be good defensively and, um, you know, share the ball and play with each other, play together. Um, and that's how we want to do it. That's how we want to play. Um, I, obviously, there are more series to go. However, I mean, all year long, they, the players have talked about building toward this to start the playoff run in advance. Now that you have advanced, um, I don't know if you, if it validation is the right word, but I mean, it, it clearly that mindset and that approach of adjustments and tweaking and uh, it, it worked. I mean, you know, the team won four games and is now advanced in the playoffs. Do you view it that way at all? Or, or is that, is that, uh, no, we is got that a lot. no, I mean, we're, we got a long ways to go. It's the first round of the playoffs. Um, yeah, I think there's got to be humility, a humbleness, a, an attitude or a mindset to get better. Um, you know, we've advanced in the first round. Um, so it's, uh, you know, whoever we play next, uh, we got to have the similar focus, the similar, um, you know, edge, willingness to play with each other, play together. All the things that we just did um, means nothing if we don't keep doing it going forward. Zara Stevenson. Hey, Coach, just specifically with this series, what was the importance of having a presence in the paint? And how do you feel like Brooke contributed to that or even more people than just Brooke? Yeah, no, I mean, it was it was important for us. You know, we've we've been trying to build on that all year. And Brooke, um, you know, just took it to another level. Um, you know, I think he led us in scoring tonight. Um, you know, his his work on the offensive boards, his work in the paint, um, rolling in the pick and roll game. Um, he is great. You know, I think PJ Tucker came up with a lot of offensive rebounds, um, worked the dunker, got a couple baskets there. Um, you know, Chris drew getting to the paint, different guys, different ways. Um, we just got to continue to work and grow that. Um, and you know, uh, but Brooke, Brooke is, has been really good this series. How much did you see, you've talked about the phrase like winning plays and how that's really important. How much did you see that in this series? Yeah, you know, I mean, you go back to game one and just to see Chris Middleton go to the, the floor for the loose ball, uh, get the jump ball, you know, close game. Um, you know, that's the one that stands out to me. I'm sure there's more tonight. Uh, we'll go back and uh, I doubt we'll look at this film. But, you know, when you reflect on the game and, um, you know, guys are just, you know, making the right plays defensively, offensively, covering for each other. Um, you know, that's winning basketball. And then do you immediately, like, put your focus on the Brooklyn-Boston series, or do you take any time to reflect? What's your – Yeah, no, I mean, we'll we'll take a second to kind of just process and, you know, um, enjoy this this win. Um, you know, uh, tomorrow or sometime we'll, we'll pick it back up and get ready and start thinking and talking about, uh, you know, both teams. Um, they're both very good. Um, got a lot of talent, well coached. So – but we'll, we'll take a second and uh, – you know, enjoy this and, and catch our breath a little bit, process and uh, and get ready to, uh, you know, start mapping out, uh, you know, whatever's next. Eric, name? Obviously, you guys put Giannis on Jimmy for this series. Um, I'm curious, now that the series is over, if you'd be interested in sharing just kind of why you thought that that would be something that could work and why you thought it worked during this series. Uh, just, you know, Giannis has got just unique defensive um, talent. Um, and Butler's such a, a great individual talent, score, passer. That's, I think his ability to, to facilitate and quarterback um, is, is underrated. So, you know, maybe Giannis's length, um, you know, just trying to disrupt him, you know, as a passer and as a scorer. Um, and, you know, like, like we've been saying, Giannis has been guarding different guys during the season, during the regular season. 
Um, I think building up and preparing for, you know, different assignments, different matchups, um, you know, just it, it takes a lot of discipline to guard a guy like Jimmy Butler. And uh, I think for Giannis to have that discipline with the competitiveness, um, you know, makes him special. We saw Chris kind of get in a little bit of a mix up with Dragic and, and just walk away from it, smile on his face, totally cool and calm. We saw those type of moments multiple times in the series. What do you think of your team's ability? Just, you know, this could have been a really highly charged, intense, physical, all of those things, playoff series. And it just felt like they were calm and even keeled throughout all of it. Yeah, I thought the poise was great. You know, Chris and, and Giannis and Drew and Brooke leading the way and, um, I think they just had a confidence, you know, to pull out a, a close game one was important. And then, um, you know, just the defense, I think really for the whole series, um, gave us, gave us a great opportunity and they played, played well offensively, played together. So, um, I think all that stuff just adds up. It gives you poise, gives you confidence and you guys were great.